Another day, another story. The sport of cricket has a known history beginning in the late 16th century England. It became an established sport in the country in the 18th century and developed globally in the 19th and 20th centuries. International matches have been played since the 19th century and formal test cricket matches are considered to date from 1877. Cricket is the world's second most popular spectator sport after association football, soccer. Welcome to Tabo Eminent Channel. Internationally, cricket is governed by the International Cricket Council, ICC, which has over 100 countries and territories in membership although only 12 currently play test cricket. The game's rules are defined in the laws of cricket. The game has various formats, ranging from T10, 10-10, played in around 90 minutes to test matches which can last up to five days. Origin. Cricket was created during Saxon or Norman times by children living in the Weald, an area of dense woodlands and clearings in southeast England that lies across Kent and Sussex. The first definite written reference is from the end of the 16th century. There have been several speculations about the game's origins, including some that it was created in France or Flanders. The earliest of these speculative references is from 1300 and concerns the future King Edward II playing at Krieg and other games, in both Westminster and Newenden. It has been suggested that Krieg was an old English word for cricket, but expert opinion is that it was an early spelling of crack, meaning fun and games in general. First definite reference. In 1597, Old Style 1598 New Style, a court case in England concerning an ownership dispute over a plot of common land in Guildford, Surrey, mentions the game of cricket. A 59-year-old coroner, John Derrick, testified that he and his school friends had played cricket on the site 50 years earlier when they attended the free school. Derrick's account proves beyond reasonable doubt that the game was being played in Surrey circa 1550, and is the earliest universally accepted reference to the game. Derivation of the name of cricket. A number of words are thought to be possible sources for the term cricket. In the earliest definite reference, it was spelled cracket. The name may have been derived from the Middle Dutch crick, e, meaning a stick, or the Old English crick or kreis meaning a crutch or staff, or the French word crique meaning a wooden post. The Middle Dutch word crickstoil means a long low stool used for kneeling in church. This resembled the long low wicket with two stumps used in early cricket. According to Heine Gilmeister, a European language expert of the University of Bonn, cricket derives from the Middle Dutch phrase for hockey, met de, cricket, sen, i.e., with the stick chase. The Commonwealth. After the Civil War ended in 1648, the new Puritan government clamped down on unlawful assemblies, in particular the more raucous sports such as football. Their laws also demanded a stricter observance of the Sabbath than there had been previously. As the Sabbath was the only free time available to the lower classes, cricket's popularity may have waned during the Commonwealth. However, it did flourish in public fee-paying schools such as Winchester and St. Paul's. There is no actual evidence that Oliver Cromwell's regime banned cricket specifically and there are references to it during the interregnum that suggest it was acceptable to the authorities provided that it did not cause any breach of the Sabbath. Gambling and press coverage. Cricket thrived after the restoration in 1660 and is believed to have first attracted gamblers making large bets at this time. It is possible, as believed by some historians, that top-class matches began. In 1664, the Cavalier Parliament passed the Gaming Act 1664 which limited stakes to £100, although that was still a fortune at the time, equivalent to about £16,000 in present-day terms. Cricket had become a significant gambling sport by the end of the 17th century, as evidenced in 1697 by a newspaper report of a great match played in Sussex which was 11 a side and played for high stakes of 50 guineas a side. Patronage and players. Gambling introduced the first patrons because some of the gamblers decided to strengthen their bets by forming their own teams and it is believed the first county teams were formed in the aftermath of the restoration in 1660, especially as members of the nobility were employing local experts from village cricket as the earliest professionals. The first known game in which the teams used county names is in 1709 but there can be little doubt that these sort of fixtures were being arranged long before that. The match in 1697 was probably Sussex versus another county. Cricket expands beyond England. 
Cricket was introduced to North America via the English colonies in the 17th century, probably before it had even reached the north of England. In the 18th century it arrived in other parts of the globe. It was introduced to the West Indies by colonists and to the Indian subcontinent by East India Company mariners in the first half of the century. It arrived in Australia almost as soon as colonization began in 1788. New Zealand and South Africa followed in the early years of the 19th century. Development of the laws. It's not clear when the basic rules of cricket such as bat and ball, the wicket, pitch dimensions, overs, how out, etc. were originally formulated. In 1728, the Duke of Richmond and Alan Brodick drew up articles of agreement to determine the code of practice in a particular game and this became a common feature, especially around payment of stake money and distributing the winnings given the importance of gambling. Continued growth in England. The game continued to spread throughout England, and, in 1751, Yorkshire is first mentioned as a venue. The original form of bowling, i.e., rolling the ball along the ground as in bowls, was superseded sometime after 1760 when bowlers began to pitch the ball and study variations in line, length and pace. Scorecards began to be kept on a regular basis from 1772. Since then, an increasingly clear picture has emerged of the sport's development. International cricket begins. In 1859, a team of leading English professionals set off to North America on the first ever overseas tour and, in 1862, the first English team toured Australia. Between May and October 1868, a team of Aboriginal Australians toured England in what was the first Australian cricket team to travel overseas. Decline in North America Cricket started off as one of the more popular sports in America, aided by the invention of informal cricket variants such as wicket which resulted in higher scoring matches that could be completed in an afternoon, rather than over the course of a few days. However, baseball overtook cricket's popularity in the United States during the American Civil War, as soldiers who had played baseball during the war went back to their homes across the country and took the game with them. Some factors in favor of baseball's rise were that it had a much shorter playing duration and that it could be played on any patch of land, rather than requiring special preparations such as the cricket pitch. 21st Century Cricket In June 2001, the ICC introduced a Test Championship table, and, in October 2002, a One-Day International Championship table. As indicated by ICC rankings, the various cricket formats have continued to be a major competitive sport in most former British Empire countries, notably the Indian subcontinent, and new participants including the Netherlands. In 2017, the number of countries with full ICC membership was increased to 12 by the addition of Afghanistan and Ireland. Thanks for watching request you to subscribe the channel.